Stone. Just, but, but, but you did that I over put it all this you way. built. Oh my, let's put it this way. You just escaped from prison, right? Yeah. Oh shoot, I forgot my coat. Gotta go back and get it. Right, like, yeah. <laughs> come on. You're, you're really going, going back to prison for the jump over the wall to get that coat? No, you're gone. No, you're going, no, 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 what, what, the, the image or, the, or yeah. what I was trying to relate to was that yeah. basically what you did was, so how I like, like it is you jumped out of the cement prison that you were in, but you're still you're still fenced in. Yeah. The instant that you went back for your comb, then basically that wall disappeared, but you're still fenced in. That was my belief that you were no. But you, 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 you've now, you've now you validated created that wall. Yeah, you, but, you created that separation. But once you went and grabbed something on the other side, that wall now was torn down again. No, it's still there. You just tear the wall down. Okay. All right. The wall's not tearing down itself. Mm -hmm. No, you have, if you put it up, then you're taking it down. That's and what I'm if, saying. And, if you, and if, if, if you put the wall there, and then you didn't dissolve the wall to go get the stuff, oh, you decide to jump over. <laughs> and then, when right. you could, why you didn't build the wall in the first place? Yeah. Why even go through the process of saying, claim the birth certificate? Why don't you just be the birth certificate? Which is what you've been, which is what you've been being. Oh, because I guess but, but then you don't, you don't get any. Picking and choosing. Yeah, you're you're to so, so, you know, you can't ride the fence. Everybody yeah, but, that, but that's what you're saying. Fence, you're right? saying that you can ride the fence once you've created the fence, though. But you can jump over there and grab stuff and stuff. No, but that's not right in the fence. But that's right in the fence. Right fence. Which, where are you? Are you what side are you playing on? Yeah. Right. You know, once you're playing on both sides, then you're saying that the people who you're trying to separate from, they have some sort of hold on you. Hold. Right. But the whole point of doing that process is so that they don't have a hold on you. But that's what I meant, that the instant that you jump back over to grab piece of that, you then validated that hole that hold again. Right. Even though yeah. you spent all that time trying to separate. Trying, trying to separate. Right. Now validated the Now hole. you validated the hole. And, and right. they have, and in the law of evidence, they have a contract to prove. That's right. That's right. Because you paid to oh, find no, but, but, but you authenticated it and certified it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah you paid to do that too. Right. Well, so why are you paying to do that if you're the so-called sovereign? Right. You know? But, and again, it goes back to the thing of with why, we, why we tell people, especially out here, as far as those processes and stuff are concerned, don't even, don't even attempt to go there. Because RCMP put out the bulletin that they got, they got free men on the land, on the radar, and anything that they do. They know it. That they know that that's a fraud. A European saying that they're a free man on the land and they can do certain stuff in America is a fraud because they don't have sovereignty here. They only have sovereignty in Europe. And this is not Europe. Yeah. Oh, so, so they, they don't, don't have, have. But that's what you were talking they about. They don't have that sovereignty. To that's what you were talking about with the dissolving of of the government, meaning that the sovereign power that was signed that was that was acquiesced to them through the signing of the Constitution is no longer theirs. Because but they, because because they have because they have become insolvent and bankrupt and, and a non-entity, they no longer have that sovereign power, which was supposed to be given. Remember to them for Englishmen. Remember initially it was English English-born males right. could be U.S. Republic citizens. Right, right. right, that was part of the deal, right. which has then morphed into this whole nonsense. Right. But what you're saying is, with the dissolution of the government and that process, the sovereignty power that they had there is gone. Yeah. That's what you mean. So being that the sovereignty is gone. Or, or, the, so or their, their ability to use that sovereignty, sovereignty power, power, right. the sovereignty power yeah. is gone. Right. That's so then that means that sovereignty goes back to the people. Right. And so if the people have the sovereignty, right. why are you going to some corporate whatever to go file some documents? That's right. If the sovereignty is on the people now. Right. Because that's if, what you're talking about, it falling back right. to, uh, to uh, the original. To, to the original. Right. It's going back to the original right. What is the original right? That all men are created equal. Well, not only that. Nobody that, can't look at... Nobody can't play race stuff and discrimination and and all these things because all those things are part of the illusion that was dissolved in '33. But I think that's it goes, not a reality. I think it goes to the further step of actually putting us back on on the throne again. Well, yeah, that's it. Because really, because that's who was here originally. Oh, yes. Because we made the deal with them. Yes. yes. We made it. It's exactly. not like we came here and asked them. And asked them. They came and asked us. Right. So if they if they. Um, rescinded on their arrangement on the contract then it goes back so that it goes, goes back to the, like the tenant. we're saying you leave when we come it's back the same home. thing it's the same thing that the Washington was fighting with Napoleon right when they said okay you know what I mean we want to buy whatever from you all right it's gonna cost this much all right here's the money 
It's coming on the boat. The boat never made it with the money. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? You bought something. The, boat the person who sold it, the person who's buying it, All right. sent the money, and the money got lost coming here. You're saying the French? The French. You said the money was coming he here. said the money's coming. And the money didn't make it. Right. So there was no sale. Right. But then so that means everything goes back to but then what, the before the arrangement. They're honoring a contract that was never completed. That was never completed. Mm. So, so it's the to individual to, 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 their, to, to their benefit. Right. So now when you have so-called, um, and this is why when you look at Washita, they have the little splits in that. Factions. Factions. Different more saying that they're Washita, but you know what I mean? All of them uh, a power go back again. to... Because obviously not somebody all of them signed up for it. Not, a, not all of them signed up for it to be sold. To it's be like French. one faction said, okay, we're going to sell it to you. Stayed in that, they're Washington. But what we understood... No, no, different, no different than some people said, no, don't give the Europeans no 13 colonies and all that stuff. Right, right. Don't be no treaties or nothing with them. Right. And then we were like, what do you mean, man? You just got to... Why wouldn't we do that? So logically, it, it, it would assist us to do that. Which, if you're dealing with people who are not you know, inquisitions, cutthroat, whatever, yeah, the plan would have worked to perfection, but that wasn't the case. But I think their stuff got this is where the, sort of the Bobby Hammond angle comes into what you realize is that when you see the soothsayers or the prophets you can see yeah. into the future, they realize that this was, a, this was probably, possibly, most possibly the changing of uh, that pendulum swinging. The guard. Uh, yeah, the pendulum swinging. So there were ones who sort of saw the fact that they could either do it by force or by hopefully contract that's sort of get, and that's probably what the initial attempt I think was in certain ways to sort of create. Right. So, so all that fell, and then Dilia no Joali comes up, now. and he comes and up to respond to, to respond to the to the poison that's been happening. Right. There's literature that he went to Cuba, met with them. Right. There's literature that he was called president. Right. There's literature that that you know um there's constitution for right. these for these people. Right. Right which is tied to the national constitution, right. but that he told Morris to enforce that, right. but then Morris are enforcing United States codes of whatever, right. Morris are enforcing act of whatever, right. Morris are enforcing statute of whatever, ordinance of whatever, and they're not paying no attention to the constitution. And then want to know how come it's where it's at right, right now. When the, re when the reality is that the president, <laughs> the president, the president of Morocco, Nobu Juali, put everything in the hands of the beneficiaries. And the beneficiaries said, said, we don't want to be beneficiaries. We want to be heads of stuff. And then so yet again, power, it was, uh, it power was e e e e ego. And people going through that, that ego thing, sure, yeah, yeah. right? And then we go down the line, Malachi, York, um, NOI heads, you and I heads after Marcus Garvey. You go through the line of everybody that knew that that, that Nobu Juali came and came what was back. established that's where was man. that you are your own government. That's you're self-governing. That's what they talked about when they gave back the mandate. Right. The land, which was, which, which, was, which was, was the absolute which signing was really off the, the, the sovereignty. Right. Not exactly. necessarily a paper signed by Congress well, saying that saying. whatever. Yeah. Well, but it still was a piece of paper that they gave them back that mandate, which was that contract. It's like if you come back in and you're a part of the contract, and they give you that contract that we were talking about earlier, you can just rip that contract up. Because right. it's yours again. That was sort of what they were saying in an analogy. Right. Right? So we want people to get back to that that mentality of where we were 1929, that we had the convention, just like these people have their convention right now, for their whatever that they're doing, we had our convention. And we we'll would put everything on the record for the war. Mm -hmm. You have your flag, wait, you have your holy wait. books, you have Everything it is that you need. You have your national headwear, your you have your nationality, you have your creed, you have your seal, you have like what else do you want? Mm -hmm. There's nothing else that I can give you. Your religion. Well you have your religion, land. all that. Yeah. And then it was supposed to be taken, all the heads or whatever, distributed, give the people their stuff, 
and leave them alone. People ran with it and oh, my, and my, people trying to bear away. Well, we got it. If you want some of it, you got to get down with us or whatever. And those guys over there as well, they don't really got the real ones. We got the real ones because, you know, the guy who we seen, you know, he he had a, a, you know, burn mark on his forehead that made him the legitimate whatever. And then, then we're everybody's scatterbrained. And now we have nothing, which again leads back to why it is that we're doing the whole thing with the unity thing and trying to pull all this thing back together. Because everybody has the same foundation, stop from. They're not going to separate anything. We all look the same. You go talk to some Buddhists, you know, yeah, this Buddhist and then the, that Buddhist and then the Buddhists that don't really want to say that they're Buddhists, but they'll go with this, the lessons. And then the Buddhists that say, no, we don't want nothing to do with those Buddhists over there because anybody dealing with it like that. Even if you go on a nation level, they're not dealing with it like that. As soon as nationality comes up, all their religious, whatever stuff that they say that that they, they belong to is out the window. It's all about our nation. It's interesting you say that, though, because I was talking to some of these, I think you guys were talking about uh, communicating with the uh, uh, Polish national people on the side. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was yeah. talking about the Polish are an interesting nationality, too, because I think they've got a lot of history there. But my uh, co-worker was telling me about when, when one of them was telling me that when their parents were getting married, there was huge divisionism between the religions. And if you were Catholic, you couldn't marry a Protestant. Right. And so I was liking that to what's going on with us too, yeah. which is all this divisionism about who's boss and about how this one guy had to change his religion to marry the woman. Yeah. And that's how there was a ten there was two stories like that where people had to actually change what they so called believe, yet they're still believing in the one God. Yeah. And I started to realize that that was all for this pull for the money and for that control thing about that's, who's, that's like you're saying. That's that layer. Under that layer right. is nationality. Yeah. That they're not going to have any dispute. Right. Regardless of what their religion is, yeah. they're not going to have dispute when it comes down to what's your pedigree. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, everybody's like, oh yeah, Polish, regardless of whatever their religion is. So I'll go with Nike in the back for being a Catholic, right? right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, not natural. No, but it's crazy. You know what I mean? Not, 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 that, that's not, that's, you know, yeah. that's, that's the, the dynamics of That's, so that's what where the time is going on though, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, what's what's going on. that's what's going on in Ireland right now. We're killing people over whether they're Protestant yeah. or Catholic. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. They're still Irish. Okay. But the bottom line is... But that's the divisionism that I think is very important for us to, 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 to look at that and yeah. see that that's part of, I think, the manifestation of where our problems lie. Yeah, but, but again, like, like, you know, we have to always remember that, that we're the ones under the microscope. For the world, they're judging how they're gonna do on us. On us. Yeah, yeah. So if 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 it if it's okay for people who look like us to wear pants down here, then everybody could do that. Which we see now, everybody. <laughs> I know it's crazy. <laughs> Man didn't have a belt before, now it's become a style. No, it's a style. <laughs> not to have a belt. You know, and, and it's not it's not that you know, and nothing's wrong with. It's funny, I used to remember, I used to have jeans that, you know, I didn't have a lot of money, so I'd have ripped. And now, yeah. now you go pay $600 for a pre-ripped jean. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought to myself, right. I should have had a lot of those jeans. I should have quoted them working on that. That's the style now, ripped jean. Yeah. That, used yeah. to be a, that used to be an economic thing. Now it's a style. No. Hey, look, you're a bum. Um. <laughs>